Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. First of all, ignore my hair. I've just washed it and I wanted to sit down and film this video. I'm just gonna tie it back very quickly. It's kind of frizzy but I'm gonna sort that at the end. So I wanted to sit down today to film my 2017 favourites video but I didn't want to just sit here and talk about them. I wanted to like put them on so you guys can see what it looks like on and how it applies and all of that and yeah I do like a bit of a chatty tutorial at the same time so jumping straight into the video um I'm gonna actually take this lip balm off but I wanted to show you guys my favorite lip balm which I feel like I haven't spoken about on here I've been using it so much and it is the Clinique Pep Start lip balm it is so moisturizing I think it's a lip mask actually um but I love 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 putting a whole ton of this on my lips it's so like thick it's really, really nice, but it's not like too oily. So now that that's out the way, my favorite, if I can find it, my favorite moisturizer has got to be the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, the one with the SPF. I think this is new, I wanna say, but I have been using this a lot because as you guys know, I love a good facial acid and I love using quite like strong skincare products on my skin. And because this has got SPF in it, it saves my skin from any of the harmful sun rays and it just gives me that extra layer of protection. I find that generally like SPFs leave like a film and like feel really weird on the skin but this one actually feels really really nice and it just feels like a normal moisturizer. For primer I was loving 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 the Fenty Beauty Primer. I don't know whether this keeps my makeup on for longer but I love the way this feels on my skin. It basically feels like a moisturizer which I really like and it's really nice and light. It doesn't really get tacky like other primers that I've used in the past, but I just really feel like it loves my skin. When it comes to foundations, there have been quite a few that I was loving last year. So I'm gonna split them up into high end and low end. My favorite high end foundations of last year were the Fenty Beauty and also the YSL All Hours. For this video, I am gonna be mixing these two together, but I also wanted to give a shout out to some drugstore foundations that I was really loving. One of them actually being the L'Oreal Total Cover infallible total cover foundation. I really, really, really like this. One of the reasons why I really loved wearing it last year was every single time I wore it, I got compliments and questions on what foundation I was wearing. And that to me is like a really good way of knowing whether or not my foundation is like looking good is when other people notice it. A more recent favorite foundation from last year was this Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I love this. Again, it looks amazing on the skin, but my only like downfall on this foundation is that it doesn't photograph the best. Um, but I love it for daytime wear when I'm not really taking that many pictures and they're both really affordable. But then I had to also give one more mention to the NYX Total Control Total Cover. Yeah, Total Control Drop Foundation. So it's got one of those like little pipette things that you can kind of like drop on your face and blend it all out. This is super, super lightweight. It literally feels like you're wearing no foundation and I love it. So I had to let you guys know a few drugstore alternatives, but now I am just gonna mix the Fenty foundation in with the All Hours foundation and blend that all into my skin. I love the way that these two foundations look on my skin. My skin doesn't look heavy or cakey, but it gives me really good coverage. I just realized after blending all of that into my skin, I forgot to include my Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on top. I love the way this makes my foundation look in flash photography. It might look a little bit weird because it's not obviously blended into the foundation. It's kind of sitting at the top, but we're gonna try and do our best to keep it looking as blended as possible. But I love the way that this photographs. My skin looks like it's been airbrushed whenever I use this, but it also looks glowy at the same time. It doesn't look too like plasticky or fake looking. It still looks like my skin, but it just gives like a beautiful glow. And I pretty much mix that into any and every single one of my foundations that I wear. And this is pretty much what I am left with. I just love how glowy but skin-like, but still full coverage that my skin looks. It doesn't look too heavy. I'm gonna try and tidy my desk as I go along because sometimes I'm filled with like so much stuff on my desk that I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try and keep that in mind whilst I'm doing this. I'm gonna try and do like the full shebang of like cream contour, everything, try and include as many products that I was loving last year. So because my skin is all done, we're gonna keep on theme with like the cream liquid products. And I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? The contour wand. I feel like 
Last year I was loving quite a lot of Charlotte Tilbury stuff and I just love the way that it sits on my skin and I love the way that it looks not only in real life but also photos as well. So I am going to get, um, you have to kind of like twist it to get the product out and what I do is I kind of get the product flowing on the back of my hand and then I start drawing all the usual contour lines on my face. Now it is time to blend all of these lines away. I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of blend. And I love that this literally like melts into the skin. It doesn't matter how like long I've left it on my skin because I find that some contours can be a little bit difficult to blend out, especially if they've been laying on the skin for quite a bit. Um, but this one blends so nicely. I always like going over my cream contour with my foundation end of my beauty blender just to make sure it's all nice and blended. For concealer, I also have three concealers that I was loving last year. One of them goes without fail. This is the all eraser wall. <laughs> this is the eraser eye by Maybelline. Then I was, oh my god, I got makeup on here. The Tarte Shape Tape, of course, everyone was loving this last year as well. And then one other one is also the All Hours Concealer. So these three were basically the three that I always used to opt for whenever I was doing my concealer. But for this video, I'm going to be using a mixture of the Tarte Shape Tape and the Eraser Eye. What I generally do is I would always pop this on underneath. Before I used to take the line all the way up, but now I kind of keep it targeted like underneath the eye. A little bit on my forehead and chin. And then I also bring it up against that contour that we did on the side of the nose. And I am just gonna take a little bit underneath my contour. And the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer I just used to brighten. So I'm just gonna take a couple of dots, three dots, and then also down the bridge, or I mean down the sides of the nose. And then I've just a tiny, tiny bit on the chin and forehead as well. Seeing as all of the cream products are done for contouring and highlighting wise, I'm gonna move on to setting all of those areas. I had two favorite setting powders, one of them being the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder from Charlotte Tilbury, and the other one being the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This, I find, is so finely milled. You can put a lot of this on underneath your eyes, and it doesn't look cakey, and it really blurs everything out. I'm gonna use a mixture of both of these for this uh, tutorial. So I'm first setting with the Beauty Bakery Powder. And I just love how like blurred everything looks underneath the eyes. It really is pretty magical. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then to keep any kind of oily areas around my nose at bay, I take my Charlotte Tilbury and I basically concentrate it like on my nose kind of area. And then I do put a little bit on the other kind of usual places. To set my contours and like to bronze up, there were two bronzers that I just reached for over and over again. One being the Hoola by Benefit and the other one being the Marc Jacobs one. I love these both equally. This one is super, super, super creamy. It like melts into your skin. But for this video, I'm gonna be using my trusty Hoola. And 99% of the time, I always use the brush that it comes with. I feel like it just sits in like my contour areas really nicely and it also blends everything out as well and I cannot forget my quickest and easiest nose contour of life I just take some product on the brush and then I just push that in and like hug the sides of my nose and it's literally the quickest contour you could ever do but I always go over my beauty blender to make sure it's nice and blended. My brows were microbladed last year so I feel like I don't really need to fill them in like crazy amounts. I just need to go over them once I've got like my foundation on because I find the foundation goes over the skin where I've had it microbladed. So I've got the rough kind of shape there but the product that I had been using again and again and again is this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. So on one end you have the product and the other end you have the spoolie and again I just find that this looks really really nice in pictures. It looks really natural. It gives you a really nice like soft brow and I'm just gonna very quickly fill my brows in. I don't feel like any particular product has really stood out for me for setting my brows but I am just gonna use some of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I love this. I love actually using this in a lighter shade because I feel like it makes my eyebrows look really nice and natural and not too chunky or blocky. 
I very quickly just primed and set my eyelids. I used the Sephora Colourful Shadow and Liner in the shade Secret Boudoir. This is honestly such an amazing primer. My eyeshadow just does not budge all day long. And then I did also set my eyelids in place using that same Charlotte Tilbury powder as well. There was a one eyeshadow palette which I reached for again and again and again last year. And that has to be my Naked Heat palette. I love, love, love this palette. I was so excited when I found out they were bringing out a warm toned eyeshadow palette. These are so easy to blend. They are such a beautiful like array of colors. So I'm gonna use some of my favorite colors from this palette to create a very quick eye look. And then we're gonna move on to a little extra step of shimmer, which was a product again, which I was loving last year. Before I smoke out the rest of my eyes, I really quickly wanted to show you this color chameleon in the shade Amber Haze, which is by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just gonna pop this on on the inner corners because this is such a stunning cream eyeshadow stick. But I'm just putting this on to the areas where I didn't apply any eyeshadow. And then I'm going to get a mixture of Lumbre and Ember and put that on top. I actually want this to look a little bit more gold than it is. So I'm going to take this shade, which is from <laughs> my favorite highlight palette of the year. Um, I'm going to take this kind of goldy shade right here and I'm just going to apply that on top. If you guys know me, you know I'll smoke up my eyes a little bit more once my lashes and everything is on. For mascara, um, it's going to be no surprise. It is the False Lash Sculpt from L'Oreal Paris. So I'm very quickly going to pop a couple of layers of this onto my top lashes before we move on to smoking out the lower lash line. I am going to tightline using my favorite, favorite eyeliner um, of last year. And that is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Waterproof. It's like everything proof, <laughs> 24 hour um, eyeliner. And this is so creamy, it lasts for ages. And it also comes in a brown. And I actually used that the other day. And again, it's just as beautiful as this one. So I'm very quickly going to tight line my upper and lower water lines. For my lower, I love still doing that trick of being really messy with uh, like the placement of it, because we are gonna smoke it all out. So doing the same to the other eye. You're probably thinking this looks really weird, but I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, which is called Ashes. It's a really beautiful, like dark purpley aubergine color. And I'm just gonna smoke that out and kind of blend that black away as well. I am gonna wait to put my lashes on until my mascara's all dried, but I am gonna take Ounce, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to quickly just highlight my brow bone. There are not that many products left now, so stick with me, we're almost done. Um, for blush, I'm gonna use my kind of holy grail blush palette. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks. I think I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades right here and apply that to the apples. And this is very pigmented, so you only need like a tiny amount. You don't need too much. And I always put too much on and then I have to go in with my beauty blender to make sure it's nice and blended. When it comes to cheek highlight, I was loving the iconic London Illuminator Drops. These are brilliant. They're all over social media. I feel like I would never ever finish this bottle because you need the tiniest amount and it's so pigmented. I'll show you a little bit on the back of my hand. So if I was to do like one drop and then blend that out, you literally get this insane amount of highlight. And it is really, really stunning. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's very lightweight. I did wanna show you some of my other kind of favorites from last year though. Funnily enough, all of the highlighters that I was loving were all drugstore. So this one is the L'Oreal eyeshadow, which is in the shade Nude 206. This is beautiful on the cheeks as a highlight. It's almost creamy, so it blends into the skin. It's almost having like a powder and cream in one, and it's stunning, and it's super affordable as well. But I was also loving the Tanya Burr highlight as well. This is in the shade Champagne. Champagne Sorbet. You get such like a gorgeous creamy highlight. It is beautiful. It's kind of got a slight kind of bronziness to it. So I feel like it would suit a lot of skin tones, but I was really loving that. But the one that I'm gonna be using in this video is my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Kit. I can't get over the price. I can't get over the quality. You get eight highlights in this. You also get this like pinky shade, which you can totally wear as a blush but we are gonna highlight it up and I'm just gonna use a mixture of like all these three shades. That's generally what I do whenever I use this. I like mix all these shades together and then just start applying it. It's just stunning. I think it's like eight pounds, I wanna say, or 10 pounds, maybe 12 pounds. It's really, really, really not that expensive for eight highlighter shades. You've got pretty much a color in here to suit every mood, every season. And I just love the way that this sits on my skin a little bit down the 
bridge of my nose. Honestly, so obsessed with this highlight palette. It is stunning. And I feel like Makeup Revolution are totally pulling like amazing products out of their bags. So big, 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 massive fan of this. And I seem to travel with it all the time because I've got every color in here. <laughs> okay, only a few more things to go now. I'm gonna move on to lips first. I'm gonna show you two of my favorite lip liners from last year, one of them being Mahogany from NYX. I feel like I use this with pretty much every lip color that I wear. It's such a universal color, but then I also love Mahogany, I think this is cool. Yeah, Mahogany from MAC. And this is actually the Patrick Star collection. I love these both equally, but I am gonna go in with the MAC Mahogany because I have been really loving this over the past few months since I've had it. In true Koshal style, I'm gonna mix a couple of colors together. One of them being Backtalk from Urban Decay. I love the color of this liquid lipstick. It's such a stunning, like, mauve nudie color. It's actually got a hint of pink in there as well, which I really like. I personally love the formula of the Urban Decay liquid lipsticks. I find the best way to wear them is let them dry and then kind of mush your lips together. But because the eyes are quite intense, I wanna lighten this up. And the one lipstick that I've been using a lot to lighten up and nude up pretty much any kind of color that I'm wearing is Blondie from Bite Cosmetics. I'm just gonna pop some of that all over because I want it to look nice and nude. I very quickly like blended the lip liner into the lips and this is the concoction that I'm left with but I do really want to quickly show you some other shades and colors and lipsticks and surprisingly one lip gloss. These collection of lipsticks I was using a lot last year. One of them being Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Love this shade. This is always, always, always in my handbag because it's such an easy pinky nude to wear and I can basically do it without a mirror. I actually feel like all of these are in my handbag <laughs> but that is definitely one way for me to know how much I'm loving lipstick. One of them being a primer lipstick and this is the shade right here again a nude <laughs> I just love nude lipsticks I feel like they go with every single makeup look but this is in the shade naked and I love this I think it's actually very similar to the color that I'm wearing now let's just give it a go but yeah it's pretty much almost exactly the same as my lipstick that I made up but I love this I love the formula I love the price it's like literally a pound or something and it's always in my handbag another liquid lipstick is this one here from Tarte this is called festival it is that my lips but better kind of shade and i love this and last but not least is a lip gloss this is a buxom lip gloss this is in the shade dolly and it's so stunning again a very pinky mauvey nude color i feel like my lip liner is really bugging me so i'm gonna <laughs> really blend that out a bit more because i don't like it when there's a big difference between like the lipstick and the lip liner so quickly fix that that is better. So lips are done. Oh, I forgot to do my lower lash mascara. So I'm gonna very quickly do that. I'm back with my hair straightened. <laughs> I feel so much more normal now. But the last two or three steps I wanna show you guys is um one product that I use whenever I want a little bit more coverage and just that kind of extra staying power and that is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation. It looks like this and it just looks like your standard kind of like powder. But what I really love about this is I press it into my skin. It gives it that extra layer of coverage but without it looking cakey and that is what I want, it is what I want in my full glam. And I just love this. I've been using this for quite a long time now. And I just love the kind of like finish it gives, but it also like lets my skin look and feel like skin. And I still kind of feel like my skin can breathe underneath it, but with that extra kind of layer of coverage. So now that the makeup part is all done, I'm just gonna go through a couple, well, actually three <laughs> of my favorite setting sprays. One of them is obviously All Nighter. You guys know I love this. I pretty much can't do my makeup without it. But the other two are Dewy Skin Mists, and I wanted to give you guys two options. And one of them being the Tarcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is my holy grail. I, I love this. I cannot live without it. But if you're looking for something that is more available here in the UK and something a little more budget friendly, then the NYX Dewy Finish Mist is also just as good. This one, I just have that kind of soft spot in my heart for. So I'm going to get this and I don't use this all over my face unless like I'm on holiday and I just want to look like really, really dewy. I like to target this basically in the areas that I have highlighted my skin and it's generally just like in this area here I'm gonna do the same on the other side I do about two to three sprays love this stuff love the smell of it love the packaging I love 
Tatcha as a whole. If anyone knows me, you'll know how much I bang on about the brand and I'm really hoping that it launches here in the UK. My fingers, my toes, everything is crossed for it. The rest of my face I like to set just using my all nighter. Sometimes I use the D-Slick, which I use generally in the summer because I want to make sure no oil is peeking through, but I'm going to go in with the all nighter everywhere else. And this takes away any kind of extra maybe areas that you might have applied a bit too much powder and then it also helps your makeup last for ages like literally all night <laughs> so this you guys is the final makeup look that i came up with i really didn't know what makeup look i was going to do but i wanted to include a roundup of all of my favorite products from last year i really want to do something quite cool where it involves you guys i'm pretty sure i have seen a few videos of these flying around but i would love for you guys to tell me your favorite products from last year, like full face from like primer down to setting spray. And I'm gonna go through all my comments and see all the products that I haven't tried or used. And I'm gonna do a full face of makeup using your guys' favorites from last year. So get commenting, cause I wanna start adding things into my basket. I can't wait to do that video cause I wanna see what you guys are loving and maybe I can fall in love with them too. And yeah, I think that is all for now. My hair is looking so frizzy. I didn't like blow dry it or anything. I just kind of went over and kind of straightened it. So it is a little bit, uh, uh, frizzy looking but I'll sort that out later <laughs> that is all for now thank you so much for sticking with me I know this is a bit of a long video but I love sitting down and doing just chatty videos with you guys thank you so much for joining me on this video I hope you guys enjoyed it leave me comments below of your favorites from last year and I will see you all in my next video bye